Welcome to Apex 2023. I'm Amy Sweezy and this is Apex TV powered by ZF. We are so excited to be back with you here once again in Las Vegas for this year's event and happy to welcome back to Apex TV Bill Hanvey, President and CEO of Auto Care Association and Paul McCarthy, President and CEO of MEMA Aftermarket Suppliers. Gentlemen, so great to be with you here in Las Vegas once again. So, this is an exciting show. Tell me what you are most excited about. Well, maybe I could start, and I'm sure Paul will jump right in. But you know, I, I, you know, we're both just so excited about the fact that people in our industry so value uh, the time that we have together in person. Um, we have over 2,600 exhibitors representing more than 40 countries. We have 46,000 buyers representing 111 country so mm -hmm. uh, I just think the size and the scope and the fact that everyone's back is really exciting for me. The energy is fantastic and you know sold out show yeah um, you know pandemic schmandemic <laughs> I mean the the aftermarket is coming out of it with a stronger and frankly a bigger industry and one of the things I'm most excited about it is as our industry becomes ever more a technology industry, it's becoming more and more relevant to the choosers, the mm. folks who decide what parts and chemicals and diagnostics they need to have. And, you know, I, the team told me that 40% of our buyers are service professionals. Isn't that fantastic? It's incredible. It's really time for us to, you know, we, we try to, to make Apex so inclusive with all channels of distribution. And, and we really um, value the time that the service providers spend here at Apex. And I, you know, I think that it's a great opportunity for them to network with the exhibitors and, and the mm -hmm. distributors. And it just really rounds out what we're trying to do here this week. So you mentioned that this year's show is sold out, obviously exciting news. Let's talk a little about that. What are some of the things that people can find that are new this year? It's not just a sold out show. It's also just the exciting things that are on the show floor. Good point. So we have all the usual cool products and all the technology, but we also have you know, Joe's Garage, which has become such a hub mm -hmm. with the ADOS demonstrations. We got over a hundred training sessions with some of the best uh, experts across our industry. We have the EV experience, yep. which is, you know, you want to learn more about EV tech. There's all kinds of, of cool things on that stage throughout the show. Um, what other new things do we well, have? Well, how about right behind us, the Right to Repair initiative? That, yeah. That's a critical issue for our industry. Uh, we are really ramping up our efforts here at the show to educate uh, those that are here, to bring back home how important this issue is for our entire industry. And keep a lookout throughout the show this week for these QR codes for more information on how you can support the right to repair effort. All right, well, thank you so much to both of you for joining us. We are looking forward to an exciting week.
The festivities kicked off on Sunday with the Aftermarket Warehouse Distributors Association general session and awards presentation, where leaders and organizations in warehouse distribution were recognized for their outstanding achievements. Every time they announced the, uh, the last award, the big award, um, I, I obviously envied those individuals and uh, looked up to those individuals and, and I can't believe that uh, this year it's, uh, it's, it's my turn to be recognized. So uh, it's a great honor um, to, be, um, to be nominated as this year's recipient. It is certainly an honor to win the Art Fisher Excellence in Education Award. I grew up in this business. My dad had a gas station on Sanibel Island and I was pumping gas. I got gasoline in my blood and I have met so many great people in this industry. It's been fantastic. Also among the winners was Jennifer Teo, who was honored with the Pursuit of Excellence Award, recognizing special achievement. And Fred Bunting, attending his 49th AWDA conference, was given the Lifetime Achievement Award in honor of Martin Fromm. Immediately following the awards, AWDA members came together to celebrate the prestigious honors. It is a great place to work and a great place to meet uh, friends, colleagues, and this event here at AWDA is uh, really special and I never thought I'd be up on that stage. I love the business so much and I get out here and I talk about parts uh, morning to night and uh, all my friends are out here, people I've grown up with kind of, and I, I just enjoy the whole process. So it's a great week. You're watching Apex TV, powered by ZF. I am here now with Ben Marcel. Ben is the National Sales Director for ZF. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So let's talk a little bit about the vibe so far this year at Apex 2023. It's great to be back here at Apex 2023 in fabulous Las Vegas. The halls are full. The vibe is there's a lot of excitement in the hallway, and it's great to see because it hasn't been like that for the last couple of years. So what will we see from ZF this week? Along with our current technology, we'll be bringing some of our legacy products, our first generation products to our booth at 5057. I think it's important for the technicians to see the old technology and the new technology. Our industry is evolving and they need to be a part of that. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the evolution of products and technology. Certainly, ZF's been around for 100 years. Um, we have been known to have quality products that stand at the test of time. Um, we also work with OEs, so having that knowledge is important for our technicians to understand. We'll be right back on Apex TV.
Sustainability is a top priority in the aftermarket industry and events are an important area to consider when evaluating impact. And with partnerships throughout the event space, Apex is working to build an environmentally sustainable Apex. Along with the Venetian Expo, key vendors like Freeman and exhibitors who signed the new Apex Sustainability Pledge were all pitching in to make a difference. We have been a sustainable company for many years before the term was even uh, a thing, basically. And our products are all sustainable. So they're plastic reusable. Sustainability is a common goal. It's good for all of us. It's not good for one group of people or one industry or anything. So when we can get a group like this together and all work toward that goal, I think that's going to be a positive thing and a positive change for us. The pledge is here to help encourage and inspire people that there are a lot of ways that our industry can be sustainable and remanufacturing is one of them. So signing the pledge for us was, uh, you know, mostly an education and, and uh, hopefully to inspire other companies to, to see where they can do and how they can help the environment. While at the show, keep an eye out for the green icon, which highlights sustainable practices. Apex will also be hosting events and sessions that focus on sustainability in the industry, including the sustainability tea and coffee networking event. This event was created for those specifically interested in sustainability within the auto aftermarket and will be hosted Thursday morning before the show opens. It is free to attend, but pre-registration is required. You can still sign up on the Apex site if you're interested. no better way to kick off Apex 2023 than with the opening night reception. It really is a who's who of the aftermarket industry. Let's go take a look at the excitement. Oh, I just think it's so awesome to see so many people coming together to support the industry. Um, I love being able to be here with my coworkers. You know, it's a great chance to travel together and um, Loving the vibe, loving the crowd. Being able to, in one place, find a lot of different suppliers for different items, walk around, be able to meet people, see different areas around the world where we can source things. Still new to the industry, so hopefully I'll be able to make some old friends coming, coming out of this. It's reconnecting with industry friends, meeting new people. Uh, I learn more about the industry, uh, the products that are available, and the changing technologies. I always love the opening reception because I can stay in the cocktail line and see everybody I know. <laughs> <laughs> In three, two, one! <laughs> and there we go, things at Apex 2023 are officially underway. This is of course the premier event where everyone who's everyone is going to be for the automotive aftermarket industry. I'm Amy Sweezy for Apex TV, sponsored by ZF. Thanks for watching.